Hello all. Let's discuss today about keratoconus disease. So all of us know what is a keratoconus. The cornea gets progressively thin, right? So there is no way of stopping the thinning of cornea. So what we can do, we uh, go to the cornea consultant. We have what kind of difficulties we face. The patient fe uh, feels that the vision gets blurred. So when we check the eyes, we find that the cornea is not even. The cornea is highly astigmatic and irregular astigmatism is there. So we get, uh, when the doctor checks the patient's eyes, what happens? He finds out that the patient is having a sign of keratoconus. So keratoconus, the cornea is getting progressively thinned. So what are the problems the patient might get? In an early keratoconus, what is happening? In early keratoconus, the vision is slight blurred. Okay? Patient might complain of some kind of itching in the eyes and all, a difficulty in vision and that's all. So the patient, when once we uh, once a doctor checks, once the doctor or the optometrist checks the refraction of the patient, okay, he finds out that the patient is having sign of early keratoconus, and it gets confirmed by the corneal topography. Okay, so once keratoconus sets in, the cornea specialist finds out that it is an appropriate time, uh, so he advises the patient for corneal cross-linking right so corneal cross-linking or c3r can actually arrest the progression of thinning of cornea to a to an extent right so this is not a permanent solution but yes it do it will help otherwise what will happen the cornea will thin thin and progressively thin and at one point of time we need to have a corneal transplant okay so that is a extreme stage of keratoconus when the patient requires a corneal transplant right now let's talk about the vision so when an optometrist uh, refracts the patient he will find a seasoned reflex and while refracting the patient there will, he will be finding irregular astigmatism and astigmatism of minus 5 diopters Okay, astigmatism means cylinder power of minus 5 diopters, 6 diopters, 7 diopters is not uncommon. Okay, even I have seen patients with minus 9 cylinder, minus 10 cylinder and all. Right, along with little bit of spherical component. So now how to manage this case? Right, so to manage this case, the patient will definitely will go for c and all right the patient can go for uh, after c year the patient is wearing the glasses but with the glasses what will happen due to irregular astigmatism patient will not get clear vision so for clear vision what is required for clear vision we require the patient requires basically a semi soft lens that corrects the astigmatism so for Early keratoconus patient will start with the RGP contact lenses. Okay, we try RGP contact lenses and it will actually help in the vision. How does this contact lenses is working? So it is a semi soft material. So it is sitting over the cornea and the gap between the cornea and the lens actually is filled by the. So here is a cornea, here is a lens. So between there is some gap. So that is filled by our tear film, okay, the tear film present in our eyes. Now the tear film will act as a refractive media and thus correct the astigmatism, okay. So RGP lenses will help, definitely it will help. Row scale lenses will help, advanced cases, okay. Now this RGP lenses and row scale lenses, this is sitting over the cornea, right. So if the patient is having a steep cone, keratoconus cone, so it might, if that part of the cone is touching the lens, so the lens might, uh, you know, rupture that surface or erode that surface. 
so it might increase right so in that case what we do we can suggest the patient a mini scleral lens or a scleral lens right so this mini scleral lens or scleral lens exactly sits on the sclera it does not touch the cornea so what is happening the cone or the thinnest cone means the thinnest part of the cornea right it is remaining untouched so there will be no progression of keratoconus for the lenses whereas the vision will be corrected okay how it is getting corrected because there is a vault between the cornea and the lens vault means the gap between the cornea and the lens okay which is basically correcting the irregular astigmatism now these irregular astigmatism cannot be corrected with wearing spectacles so patient with keratoconus the lifestyle is very difficult to lead okay he will have extremely blurred vision he cannot drive okay suppose i have keratoconus in my one eye okay so what will be having i will i cannot drive because for driving you need a good binocular vision right so definitely it will be a problem if you are wearing a uh, like a thick glass in the one eye which is having keratoconus the other eye is plano or not having any refractive error so we cannot balance basically okay also we cannot balance if we are like in glass if we have been given a minus 5 diopter cylinder 6 diopter cylinder 7 diopter cylinder the patient cannot balance so there will be lot of headache asthmatic symptoms lots and lots of issues will be there so in that case definitely rgp lenses roske lenses mini scleral lenses or scleral lenses will help a lot thank you